Welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to draw a dashboard using pivot table, pivot charts, and slicer. Uh, this dashboard is a sales dashboard. Let's go directly to Excel and see how we can do that. We got here two sets of data. First one is the product data, which is 25 products, all related to AAA bike shop. Uh, we have in, in this table, we have the product ID, the category, the product price and price range. Uh, the other set of data contains the daily sales for two years. It's uh, 137,000 rows, as you can see here. And from these two sets of data, we need to do our dashboard. So the first step is to converting, is converting these two sets of data to table formats. To do this for T sales or or transactions, um, daily transactions for sales, we got to do control T. A small dialog box will open, it will confirm the range and ask you if you have headers in your data set, I will press N OK. The design ribbon will open and I want to give a meaningful name to this data set, so I will call it T sales, I'll copy it down from the sheet name and paste it above here in the table name and uh, press enter. We do the same here in the product data. Control T, OK, copy the name from down here and paste in the table name and enter. Now we are ready to start our dashboard. I will select any cell inside the T sales and from design ribbon again I will go to summarize with pivot table. The dialog box for pivot table will open and you can see it's uh, pointing to the T sales uh, table and I want to have it in an existing worksheet. I already prepared a worksheet for this purpose. I will go to a dashboard worksheet and I will select cell 05 and before pressing OK I need to activate the data model because I'm working on two separate tables so I need to activate the two um, uh, the data model in order to bring information or merge information from two tables. I'll check this box and press in OK and the pivot table will be created. Now my pivot table is created. Um, as you can see here, um, it, it gives a default name of, uh, of uh, pivot table 1. Uh, you can change the name from analyze ribbon on the pivot table name. I want to give it a meaningful name again, so I'll call it sales by category and press enter. So now I have renamed my pivot table. I want to start to build the first report for this dashboard. You can see here this pivot table is not the um, ordinary uh, pivot table because it's based on the data model and you can see here in the field list you can see two tabs, one for active and one for all. I will select all so I can see the two tables are listed here so I will start to build my report from the M product I'll take categories put it in the rows and then products down to categories and then I'll go to the other table T sales and bring the quantity in the values and the sales as well however before doing this you can see that I got an error message and I have here something very weird I have the total of the report which is 275,000 uh, for all the products together in all rows and this is not correct. So the, the, why this happened? Because the pivot table didn't understand the relation between the two tables yet and you can see the message here saying that relationship between two tables may be needed and it gives you an option to auto detect this relation and I'll press on auto detect and let Excel discover the relation. Now the relation is created and I have one relation created and it's basically based on the, uh, let's close this first and you can see it's based on the product ID which is common in, two, in the two tables. So let's go back to the report. Now it's, it's good and, and working very uh, properly. I can take now the sales and put it again in the value and I have my report with quantity and sales value and categorized by uh, category and product uh, names. Before going any further, I want to do some number formatting here. So I will right click on any cell in the sum of quantity. I will select number formatting and for the quantity, I would say I would select number, thousand separator and zero decimal points. I will go to 
uh, sales value right click number formatting I will select currency and zero decimal places as well and I need to do uh, some formatting I want to change the style I'll go to design and go to pivot table styles I will select something light I will take the lighter one with only some borders and I will change um, some of the headers as you can see now our first object for, um, dash for the dashboard is already created which is the categorized uh, sales quantity and sales value I want to create uh, some visuals or some charts so because I already activated the data model um, feature in this workbook so I can go directly to insert and from insert I can go to the charts area and I will select pivot chart and because I did not select any set of data it will know uh, automatically that I'm going to use the workbook data model so I will click on OK and it will create an empty chart and it will give you the feed list on the right uh, hand side here and I have my two tables again and I can start to select my fields so I will start with the category in the axis and I will put product down to the two categories and I will go to T sales and will select the sales value in the value area the default is creating a column chart but I want to change it to a bar chart and with some uh, settings or some uh, formatting uh, I already have um, a template so I'll go directly to design and from design I'll go to change uh, chart type and we'll go to template and I will select my ready made template so now I have the second object I just want to resize in a suitable place inside the dashboard in order to um, align my, my chart to the dashboard correctly, I need to activate an option called Snap to Grid. I can find it from Format. And when I select Format and Align, I'll find it down here, Snap to Grid. When I activate this and I try to move my chart, it will be aligned correctly and perfectly to the grid. So I will position it in the uh, right place so I can have my uh, dashboard aligned very uh, correctly. Now I have two objects ready in my uh, dashboard. I have the uh, pivot table and one pivot chart. I want to add another pivot chart to uh, present the trend, the sales trend throughout the month. So I will go again, I'll select any empty cell. I'll go again to the insert ribbon and from chart area, another pivot chart and same, same. It will uh, build on the workbook data model. I'll click OK, it will give me the feed list I can activate the feed list from here and I have my two tables this time from M product I will put category in the legend and I will go to the second table the T sales and I will put sales in the value and this time I need some dates for the trend I will take the month and put it in the axis and again the default is the uh, column chart I want to change to my line chart template I'll go to design change type templates and I'll select my line chart. OK. Now I have the two um, uh, two charts and one table. I want to reposition it in the suitable place inside my dashboard. Now I have my three objects ready. And in order to have this dashboard to be an interactive dashboard, I want to have some controls and some buttons. And here the slices come to the rescue. So I will select any cell inside my pivot table and I will go to analyze in the filter area I will select insert slicer once I click on the insert slicer you will find um, the two tables here and the headers of the two tables and you can select uh, what headers or what fields you want to activate the slicers, slicers for so I will select category from the M product and I'll select month and year from T sales and I will press OK or click on OK the three um, the three sliders uh, directly created I want to uh, work on one by one uh, so I will start with the category I'll take it down to uh, the bottom of the dashboard and I will position it directly attached to the uh, charts and I want to increase the width to have the same width with the two charts together and I will decrease the height up to the 
uh, report uh, edge and you can see here a scroll created here and this is uh, not what I want I want to see the four bottoms of the four categories um, beside each other it's very easy I will select the category from the head I will find the option uh, ribbon activated go to the options and you can from buttons um, section you can increase the columns to four and now you have the four uh, the four columns if I select accessories you can see here the report is filtered however the two charts did not filter so I want to uh, work on the uh, report connection for the slicer so I can select the header again go to options and I will find on the left hand side the report connection when you select this you will find chart 1 chart 2 and sales by category I will select chart 1 and chart 2 and I'll press OK now if I change anything you can see here the slicer is filtering the two charts and the table as well I will clear the filter you will find here that the report is completed and the filter created from the two charts let's go directly to the year uh, slicer and do also the same settings I'll put it on the top here and we'll increase the size uh, the width and we'll decrease the height and again I want to increase the columns to 2 from options 2 and I can't see anything here so I want to do some other changes so from again from options I can go to slicer settings and uncheck the display header and press OK and you can see here I can also increase the height little bit uh, to um, to fill the empty space down here um, again I need to uh, work on the report connection so I will go to report connections I will add the two charts to the connection of the slicer and now if I change the year the entire report uh, the charts and the table will be changed as well last thing is to work on the month slicer I will take it down the years increase the width decrease the height to be perfectly aligned that's very good I'll do the same options slicer option uncheck display header and from the buttons I need 12 columns because I have 12 months so I will type 12 inside the columns and press enter I can increase little bit the height and here we go we have the month ready go to report connection and I will add only chart one press in OK on OK and and now slicer for month also is working perfectly and now I have my dashboard completed let's have a look on the entire um, thing I will collapse this I will go to view I will take out the grid lines the headings the formula bar and you can see here your dashboard thank you very much for your time and I hope that was helpful for you and see you in the next video and bye